Early Rising by John Godfrey Sachs Read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes God bless the man who first invented sleep. So Sancho Panza said, and so say I. And bless him also that he didn't keep his great discovery to himself, nor try to make it, as the lucky fellow might, a close monopoly by patent right. Yes, bless the man who first invented sleep. I really can't avoid the iteration. But blast the man with curses loud and deep, whate'er the rascal's name, or age, or station, who first invented, and went round advising, that artificial cut-off, early rising. Rise with the lark, and with the lark to bed, observe some solemn, sentimental owl. Maxims like this are very cheaply said. But ere you make yourself a fool or foul, Pray just inquire about his rise and fall, And whether larks have any beds at all. The time for honest folks to be abed Is in the morning, if I reason right, And he who cannot keep his precious head Upon his pillow till it's fairly light, And so enjoy his forty morning winks, Is up to knavery, or else he drinks. Thompson, who sung about the seasons, said, It was a glorious thing to rise in season. But then he said it, lying in his bed, At ten o'clock a.m., the very reason he wrote so charmingly. The simple fact is, his preaching wasn't sanctioned by his practice. Tis doubtless well to be sometimes awake, Awake to duty, awake to truth, but when, alas, a nice review we take of our best deeds and days, we find, in sooth, the hours that leave the slightest cause to weep are those we passed in childhood or asleep. Tis beautiful to leave the world awhile for the soft visions of the gentle night, and free at last from mortal care or guile to live as only in the angel's sight, in sleep's sweet realm so cosily shut in, Where, at the worst, we only dream of sin. So let us sleep, and give the maker praise. I like the lad who, when his father thought to clip his morning nap by hackneyed phrase, A vagrant worm by early songster caught, cried, Served him right, it's not at all surprising, The worm was punished, sir, for early rising. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.